Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the Get Actor Array Bounds node. So a bounds or a bounding box is basically the extents, or if you picture a box around something that encompasses the outside area of that object. The get actor array bounds node takes a bunch of objects, a bunch of actors, and figures out the bounds or the boundary box. So let me show you. We'll hit play. We have a green box surrounding my three characters. And to the best of the ability of the engine, it thinks they all are encompassed inside this box. The height, the width, the length, the depth. Basically, this box determines how much area these items are taking from the left side to the right side. So, of course, if I moved one, let's take this character here and we'll grab and move it over here and hit play. Now, of course, my box is bigger because it's got to encompass everything from that corner to that corner to the front. And it's a box surrounding all of them. Now, it does look a little weird. It seems like it's going out pretty far. Sometimes the node doesn't really work properly depending on how your actor is created. And you only want something that it physically takes up. So we have the only colliding components node. Checkbox, not node. And when we check that, now you notice our box becomes smaller. We don't have near as much extra area in the front, but we still have some area. And it's kind of weird. Well, these are the colliding components. So anything that collides are going to affect it. That includes things that are not visible. So my enemies here, actually, if we were to edit the blueprint, here we go. Go to the viewport, go to my character, we have a stick. Now you can't see the stick until I turn it on, and you'll see the stick is in front of the character, and it has collision. So now when we run this and check it out, now you'll see that the front actually more accurately represents what we'd expect based on our stick extending our area, because it has a collision. If we moved our character back to here, we'll notice our box collapses again, just to basically surround our characters. We could do it also with the other items. So let's change this to something like our static mesh actor. We'll uncheck only colliding. We're only gonna hit play. And you can see a box surrounding us. That's because it's as high as this box in terms of height. It's as wide as this box here, as wide as this box here. And the depth goes down to basically whatever's below us. So if we fall off, you can see it goes to the bottom areas of those boxes. Now it's going to take in an array of actors. And we have that checkbox for only the colliders. And it's going to output a center vector and a box extent vector. So an XYZ representing the center and an XYZ representing the length of the extents. So if we use a draw debug box, you can see it goes ahead and basically matches. And that's why we get this nice green box surrounding all of our stash me static mesh actors. And up here you can see I outputted that center is where it feels the center is at and where it feels the extents are from that center for our box. 